North Idaho white separatists. This is a new area nations. Looking for a new home and claiming discrimination. What did we do to anybody in that community? Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Dave Erickson. So many people turned out to protest the area nations move to Oregon today. They had to turn away 200 people. And we told you earlier this week an area nations group in Athol wants to move to the small town of John Day. Tonight, the group's self-proclaimed leader says they're being wrongfully discriminated against. And KXOY 4 Tanya Dahl is live tonight in Coeur d'Alene. Tanya, you just finished an exclusive on-camera interview with Paul Mullet. I did, Dave, and Mullet tells me that his group have gotten angry emails and phone calls and negative publicity for their planned move to John Day, Oregon, and he says he just doesn't understand why. Um, I do have this one question to John Day itself. What did we do to anybody in that community? He hasn't even moved to John Day, Oregon, and already Paul Mullet, the self-proclaimed leader of the Aryan Nations, is getting the cold shoulder. I do admit that there were some bad seeds that got into the Aryan Nations, which caused a lot of problems. The 36-year-old maintains that was the past. His group wants to move to the small town in eastern Oregon to build a new compound, recruit and train members, and give back to the community. But hundreds living in John Day are saying no thank you. When I first heard about it, I became tearful because I, came, I was worried for our children the children in our town and how they could be victimized by hate. That's what worried me the most. The group is in search of a white-only homeland and says land in Oregon is more affordable. Mullet and several members recently looked at an old church and school. The group claims it put in a bid but hasn't heard back from a realtor. Now all of a sudden that I'm not down there and I can't get back down there for this deal, everybody is up in arms. Despite the backlash, Mullet says the group won't give up and plans to buy land. I'm, I'm more set on doing that now than I was before. And Mullet says the group has also looked at properties in North Idaho and even in Washington State. And we, we're told that another community protest is planned for tomorrow morning in John Day, Oregon. Reporting live, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.